Oh, there's a bumpy road. Oh, jeez. Oh. As many of you have seen before, we've posted up some videos about life at the ski hill and things that have been going on out there over the winter season. Well, now it's a bit of a summer thing. Uh, what's going on is we're headed out to start prepping to tear down the old lodge that's up there. Uh, to give a little bit of background, it has been around since the 1960s. It is a log structure. It wasn't in very good shape prior to when the current group took over it, and we've tried to make it last for as long as we can. The crazy part of it is, is that we're going to try to save a section of it. One part of it is actually newer than the other, and it is built much better than the original part. So it seemed to make sense, and if we could save it, why not? So this section here, that's the spot that's staying. This section over here, it's the part that's going. Where basically the biggest problem is we're on this cinder block foundation and it has heaved and made a big mess. Things have been patched up here and there over the years. So it's basically time to go. Let's go for a walk inside here. bit of a mess in here because we moved all of the stuff that we want to keep and don't want to see destroyed into the section that we're keeping. So at one point in time this was the main lodge for the whole hill. Right in here this is what was the ski patrol room for a while but it actually been the kitchen. Fridge was right there. There was a kind of a bar thing here. People worked behind there. Another one up here where we served. Got some bathrooms in here. That was the men's. There's the ladies. Storage space. Kept some skis and stuff like that in there. Panel and everything is in here. Power's been cut off, of course, because can't have sparks flying when the building comes down. All right, upstairs. So this part right here is over the section that we're keeping. So this part is remaining as well. This is unfortunately going. As you can see, <clears throat> to kind of keep things somewhat safe over the years. I had to add some reinforcements here and there. This is where it gets really bad. You can see right here, lots of water leaking. Old apartment. Many years ago, the people that ran the place would run a camp in the summer and then they would come down here and they would run the hill in the winter and this is where they stayed. Used to be in much nicer shape. My understanding is that someone who lived here after those folks did, didn't really look after the place and liked to get the ice off the roof by using an ax to break it up, which in turn cut through the roof and then made the water leak through, which is never good. Can't see much in there. Oh, maybe a little bit. Old locker room. Head out this door here. A little bit of shoring going on here because as you can see all the wood's rotten. And then many years ago, what ended up happening was the front wall of the building started to kind of collapse by leaning forward. You can see maybe here, kind of hard to tell on camera. So we ended up bracing this to keep it in place for as long as we possibly could. And it worked well, but the problem was that it anchored the building in such a way that the two pieces floated and caused a whole bunch of heaving. So that was never fun. Doors wouldn't open. Uh, didn't get any broken windows. Go, these cement blocks <clears throat> get lifted up here and there. This one moves too. So there's final look before 
we start tearing it down. Just gonna do a little bit of cleanup, get things moved into bins, and then uh, put up a wall on that hole, and then away we go. So I'll be back to shoot some more footage once everything's all cleaned up and there's a little bit more work done. So there we go, that pile of logs is all that remains of the chalet. Pulled out of all the rubble, stacked up nicely. We'll figure something out to do with it, but for the time being, it's just gonna stay there. And now we'll have a look at what remains of the building. So there we go. Got a cap on the end, all sealed up so no varmints can get in. Started to map out where we're gonna put the new building, but that container is in the way. So once we move it, can finish up our square so we can start doing some excavation. All done, good to see. Glad that it actually remains standing instead of coming down with the rest of the building. So, thanks for watching folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to click that like and click the subscribe button and tune back in to stay up to date on what's going on with this. We'll get some more videos as we build the new building and then get moved in.